Hey there, happy Monday. Michael Sherlock with Shock Your Potential. And, uh, you know, what I love about today is it's what I call No Makeup Monday. All right. And I, I know I have mascara on, I, I have blonde eyelashes. <laughs> So no matter what, you're always going to see me with mascara on. But for the rest of it, uh, I know it's a little scary. Um, but why am I talking about No Makeup Monday? Well, actually, this is about finding productive energy and managing productive energy. And let me tell you why. Now, you also might be saying No Makeup Monday. Well, Michael, like a couple of weeks ago, you were talking about getting dressed up. So now we're talking about dressing down. Absolutely. So if you followed the Get Dressed Up uh, Morning Motivation, that was about making sure that sometimes when you need to be in the right headspace, you dress the part. On the flip side is there are times when I really need to manage my productive energy. And the best way I can do it is by not spending too much time getting myself ready. I did put a few curls in my hair because you just don't want to see exactly what it looks like when I roll out of bed. It's scary, but there is a reason for this. Now, um, every time I do this and I have calls with my team, it's really funny because they'll say, are you okay? You look really tired. And after a while I thought, gosh, do I always just look horribly tired when I'm not wearing makeup? Well, that's probably the case, but there's also a reason for that. You know, when you get yourself made up and dressed up, you do raise your energy, which is why I talked about getting dressed up a couple of weeks ago. And when you especially need to be really professional, um, to make sure that you're, you know, closing a sale, you're, you know, working a deal, you're doing a presentation, then those things are really important. But there's other times where your productive energy is better served by you not worrying about all those other elements. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this today, and this is definitely motivating me this week. And by the way, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. That way you are the first to know every time we have great, important information coming out, which you know right now comes out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, different things for different days. But why am I talking about protecting my creative or productive energy? Well, I've been thinking a lot lately about how I orchestrate my days, weeks, and months, and at what times, dates, and circumstances are, am I most productive. And many of you have heard me talk about kind of a shift I made in the last year where I actually started creating an entire month's worth of podcast episodes one week a month. And this was really, really beneficial for me in terms of making sure I didn't have too many diversions during my days. So I decided let's just change the entire parameter. We book everybody, every guest for the month episode in a one week taping time and I just go after it. Now, there's a little problem with that that I found and really realized a couple of months ago. So I've been slowly making changes. And what I found is that I was exhausted. Like at the end of that week, I could hardly function. In fact, pretty much at the end of every day, I couldn't function because five to six episodes taped per day is really, really tiring. And especially when you're trying to have a lot of energy and be positive for all your guests. So being productive and having positive productive energy is really, really important to me. So I've been making a shift and we are going to actually start doing something odd. And I'm probably going to tape one to two episodes per day or a couple times a week and spread it out, but have them in just similar time periods, which probably means I'm going to have to put on makeup more often, but <laughs> I'm still going to manage that in order to be able to have the best output with the least amount of damage to my energy levels. Now, why is this important again right now and today? So I thought about how I have been breaking this down and why I've made the decision to change again. If you notice, I'd make a lot of changes, but it's because I'm always evaluating how am I doing business? How am I working with this project? You know, how am I leading this one person on my team? How am I keeping my energy alive to run two businesses and now um, lead about 20 some people between our two companies? there's a lot required of me. So I broke it down to three goals or three ways to manage your productive energy so that you are the most productive possible. So number one is have a very clear understanding how you, just you, not me, not anybody else, how you work best and when you work best. 
Now you've heard me talk about this before, but let's really dive into it. Understanding how you work best and when you work best is really, really important. And we've had a great opportunity um, with so many people working from home over the last, you know, almost two years or a year and a half by now that we know that we aren't necessarily always productive in an eight to five kind of environment. That gives us a great opportunity to learn about ourselves and see when we are productive. Here's a couple things that I've shared with you guys in the past that I know about me. Until I've had at least one cup of coffee, you really don't want to interact with me. <laughs> Why? Not because I'm cranky, because I'm not, but because I'm not as focused, but not just because I need the caffeine. My body, the way I operate, I need to have time in the morning to start my day, to enjoy the beginning of a day, to have the moments that to me are ritualistic, having my coffee, then having my tea. I usually watch the news a little bit. Sometimes I'm taking a walk, but I slowly emerge into my day. And I finally understood that it's really, really important for me because that's how I ramp up to have enough energy through the day. I also know that after four o'clock, it's not the, a good time for me at all to have any appointments that are dealing with outcomes, meaning um, uh, trying to close a sale, having a you know meeting where you're brainstorming, maybe having a productive conversation with one of my team. Those things don't happen well for me after 4 p.m. Now, if I'm working on a long, long day, I can take a break at four and come back and be at five o'clock or 5.30, incredibly productive for another couple hours if I need to. But I understand when and where and how I have good productive energy. And it's going to be different for different things. So, you know, there's going to be different elements, but I can get my head down at four o'clock and I can run a ton of things off my to-do list. Why? Because I'm motivated to get them done. So that's number one. Number two is eliminate distractions. And what do I mean by eliminate distractions? I mean, um, simple things like when I'm trying to work really diligently um, in 45 minute blocks, for instance, to get through a to-do list or to do a writing block um, or to work on a brand new project, I will actually turn off my email. I will turn off my phone. I will turn my phone over so I can't see anything. And I'm eliminating distractions during that point in time so that I can focus exactly on how I need to be productive. But also kind of no makeup Mondays means that I don't spend other time getting myself ready. I just am. And I'm ready to go and I can go right into productivity. So does it make a difference about makeup or not? I don't know. You can be the, the judge on that. But for me, it takes one element of trying to set my mindset up. So when I'm putting on makeup and, and the whole shebang, I mean, you notice I'm not even wearing earrings. That takes a different kind of emotional energy that reduces from my predict productivity. It might increase my professionalism mindset at the moment, but it takes away from me trying to get things done and check things off that, that checklist as we go along. But number three is tell the world what you're doing when you're conserving or focusing your productive energy and don't apologize for it. I remember when I first started just kind of embracing and leaning into no makeup Monday or frankly, I was so lucky because I had a no makeup Friday last week also. So I've got back to back, no makeup work days, but I used to apologize to people. We'd get on a zoom call and I'd say, I'm really sorry. Today's a no makeup day. And now I'm like, Hey, hope you're not frightened. I'm having a no makeup day and I love it. And people go, really? Why? Well, then I get to tell them this is one of the ways that I control my productive energy, which makes them ask questions. Well, what, what are you doing? How do I do that? What kind of things do I need to do? And we start dialogues. So we're no longer apologizing for the things that we do to take care of ourselves or to make ourselves more productive or effective or, or um, creative. We are telling the world very clearly what we're doing to try and do that, which allows people not only to ask questions of us, maybe we're going to impact them, but they might say, oh, well, let me tell you how I do it. So then we have an opportunity to learn from others as well. So when we really take time to focus on creating more product, productivity or produ productive energy, it's about making sure that you're constantly evaluating yourself. And I don't mean a pass fail. Remember, we talked about that last week. It's not a pass fail type of situation. It is an ever evolving situation. 
When nearly a year ago, I made the decision to start taping my podcast episodes one week a month, it was a very brilliant decision on my part because it kept me from the chaos that we had or that I had. But now I have more information at my fingertips and I can realize that it doesn't mean that I just put people on my schedule willy nilly like I was doing a year prior. It's about saying, hmm, when am I most productive? When am I most creative and energetic taping podcasts? And I know that that's between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And that means that I could have a max of three, one before lunch and two back to back, that I can be really engaged with my guests and still keep my productivity very high. Now, what was the tipping point for me? to make that this my motivation this week is last week I had started to make some changes and thought I'm going to just put this on one day a week and one day a week I will tape one full week's worth of podcasts. What happened? I taped eight in a day and by lunchtime I was exhausted. And so I reevaluated where are your energy levels, Sherlock? What do you need to do to maintain them? And how can you make sure not to not only deplete yourself, but to make better choices to make it better in the future. So that's what's motivating me this week. I hope you take your own No Makeup Monday, whether you wear makeup or not, and really take this to heart of how this one simple concept helps me to manage my productive energy. Have a great day and remember to shock your potential. 